to our kids matches. Yep. So we have uh, Lachlan here from Spectrum. And then Gage Reed is from Shirleysburg from uh, Total Martial Training. Gage should have a very similar style to what Caleb did earlier. Should be, I'd assume this would be a very similar like matchup as far as like guard pool versus wrestling in the beginning and then getting to the legs versus trying to get top position. It's funny how you can see that too, just from builds where athletes naturally <laughs> yeah. go to that. Yep. And from school differentials. Yep. They, exactly as you called it. We got a we got a guard pool. Now we're fighting. I know uh, Gage's dad really wanted to test like cutting weight because eventually he would, when he gets older, like to fight MMA. So I know, I think what we talked about on the way down, he started to cut at 154 maybe, and he ended up being 138. All right, that's a big cut. Yeah, but he wanted to get the experience here. Yep. And they did it slowly. It wasn't like the day of. It was uh, like a three, four month process of, of cutting down. Because the opponent did change, but the weight didn't change. Oh. Uh, so we knew that was going to be the weight. Lachlan's trying to drag across here. I, I would assume this would be a similar flower sweep, hip bump, two triangle type setups that we're looking for. Yeah, he's still working on that same reverse yeah. Kimura grip. Yep. Here comes earlier. the arm drag to the back, possibly. Yep, here comes the hip bump. And settling in to mount, hiding the toes. Oh, Gage what? is going to slip out the back. Beautiful. Two good transitions there, both from, from both athletes. Now he's going to try to sew in down here and s smash this half guard a little bit. He's got to watch out for the triangle because he's going to slip his arm out, and that it's going to be a problem with that. If you guys notice, he is keeping his thumb in the armpit and his elbow inside the hip, so it is harder for Lachlan to slide that triangle back in. Yeah, he was doing a really good he's job. He's got a body lock here. pass here and smash. He will also, if he gets a chance, go, go Darth. Well, you hear one of the coaches right now talking about that Vaughn flu since he's, Lachlan's not letting go of it, but. You gotta watch his neck getting caught in here. He is in half guard, so he'll be a little safe here from hip. Uh, he might get a roll, there. ah, not quite. They were fighting for it. He's gonna go for it again, like a, kind of like a John Wayne. Yeah. But I think he's gonna slip his head. It might give up the position a little bit here. Yeah, he's got to fight back for that underhook yeah. right here. He's Gage needs to punch that underhook and knee slice. There he goes, going around. Lachlan's working on getting that frame back. He's got that bottom. Now he should go to a like a head and arm to grip position, settling down. This is a good match. Both guys are going at it. Yeah, he's going back for that underhook grip, going to try to drag again. Back in our close guard battle, and same thing. Yep, work that arm drag each side, yep. back and forth. Posture control. He's going to try to go wrist grip here, controlling the head, maybe look for a triangle push through. Trying to break his wrist off his hips. Trying to look for that drag again. Oh, he's going to look for a Kimura grip. Yeah. Kimura well, this is going to be bad with the close guard here. He's got to move his hips a little bit, break yeah. it. Uh, Gage is going to be, oh, that's going to clear. Oh, he's going to punch it through. This is where you got to watch out for uh, that hand clears off. He could try to step there. He's going to try to bury his hand. He could turn this into a hip bump sweep again. Ah, uh, that was a good attack. And we cleared it. So these matches are five, so they can, they can push the pace a little bit more. Definitely. And it is tougher with with Nogi keeping some of those yeah. grips, you can circle out of them a little bit more, add a little bit of pressure. And being in the teenagers helps you push a little bit harder <laughs> than some of the masters we've seen earlier. Oh, absolutely. 
a lot of hip pressure right oh, yeah. there for that close. The long legs are helping him in that position there to, to keep that guard nice and high. He's just starting to slide his knee in the middle this time. Oh, he's going back to that two-on-one drag. He's got one minute left. He's going to separate here probably. We're going to see a, I think we're going to see a scramble. Here comes a knee slice. Knee Both slice guys here. look fresh. Might work for another knee cut again right here. Can't tell if he's yep. got a Camor grip on this far side. It looks like he does. Gage is burying it in his, his leg. Could maybe go for the old school step over. Oh, he's going to let him slide back in here. Now Larkin's got that, that butterfly hook. He's going to try to trap the leg so he doesn't get clear in. He could possibly go for a dog bar here, maybe a straight knee bar. I think he's going to try to stand and. Because the kids are allowed to straight ankle lock, straight knee bar in, in yep. this rule set. Yeah, I just don't know how much they practice it at this point. Ah, beautiful. It's a good I, match. Lachlan was a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Well, it made it tough, tough to work once yeah. you get in closed guard. You yep. know, it, it's, a, it's a hard time. That was a good match, though. Good experience for both guys. Yeah. Lots of good attacks right there. I think it's important to teach some of the kids like 